YouTube about that truck life. We back. We're gonna talk about a uh, hot shot, hot shot flatbed versus hot shot car haul. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna pretty much get into some of the differences between the two um, hot shots. So. You know this is basically for guys that's trying guys or girls is trying to figure out what they you know what they trying to what they want to do as far as hot shotting you know mixed opinions you know can kind of I don't know distract you a little bit I guess so so we're gonna we're gonna I'm just gonna put a few few things out there so you can make a decision on your own and um, see what's best for you because at the end of the day you gotta do what's gonna suit you best. You know, what's good for you might not be good for me. So let's uh let's get this gum out of my mouth so I can uh I can talk more. Alright, so cool. So now what we gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna jump right in it. So, you know, the biggest thing that I can say the difference between car hauling hot shot and flatbed hot shot is the pace. And pace, what I mean by that is like, for example, with a car hauler, I can leave this yard in the morning and run out and do four or five loads, right? And come back here in the evening time, six, seven, five o'clock, four o'clock, you know, be home for dinner, sleep in my bed, watch a good TV show, watch some basketball, uh, all right, I'm being biased. I'm being biased because I'm a car hauler. I'm rubbing in a little bit. So, but basically, you get my point. So with high shot flatbed, the pace is not really there like it is for cars to do local to your town or regional and be back home. Most of the guys I know that's doing it, they actually go out of town, take a load out. They might spend the night at the truck stop, get up, grab another load, and come back. That seems like the norm with flatbed hot shot. And there's nothing wrong with that. So if that's what suits you, I like to be home every day. I like to sleep in my bed. So, you know, that's one of the things when I when I say pace, it's because, you know, unless you're an OG or you've been hot shot and flatbed for years and years and got a lot of connections, unlike most of us are new guys, not me, but you know, guys is watching, is trying to get into it. They um, they don't have these kind of connections, and I always like to speak to that because you get a lot of people on YouTube that have been putting in the work for years, and then they make it seem like, yeah, you can get in this, and you can get this contract, and you can do this, and you can do that, but that's really not the case. So I always speak to the the crowd that's coming into the game. So with that being said. What's the probability of being able to get a flatbed load, you know, leave here, get a flatbed load, go do it, you know, come back to the yard, get another load coming back, et cetera, et cetera, and be able to work local like that at a high pace. And that's what I mean by pace. I'm not saying that it can't be done because you're gonna, you're gonna find that, but what's the consistency of it? Are you gonna be able to do that Monday, Friday, you know, Monday through Friday? Are you gonna be able to do that? I don't know. That's you no. Know, can you do that two, three weeks in a row? I don't know. I don't think so. So, because if that was the case, a lot of guys would be doing it. If I'm wrong, please correct me down in the comments. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm more than open to it. But make sure you got them receipts. So, um, that's the first thing. So, kind of piggybacking off the first, you know. Um, Another big difference with freight versus car hauling, and this is one is in favor of the freight. With freight, they load, you know, they load the stuff for you, you just strap it down. You're not really uh, liable for, it's not too much, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not too much liability there, like cars. So once you get these cars on here, you know, you gotta load them yourself. If you scratch it, you know, you dent it, you damage it, then they, you gotta pay for that. It's got to come out your insurance, or you got to pay it out your pocket, and that's one downside of car hauling versus flatbed hot shot. 
because they're going to put it on there with a forklift. It's usually, you know, material, stuff like that. It's not, you get a little scratch on it, nobody knows. It ain't no big deal. As long as it don't fall off the truck and you strap it down right, you're good. So that's definitely a plus for a uh, flatbed. And uh, car hauling, you got to really, you know, have some skills. And, um, you know, we also have to walk a long way sometimes to go get the car and bring them back at the auctions and stuff like that. So, you know, but it keeps you in shape. So that's a kind of give and take there. You know, if you look at it in, a, in an exercise way. So that's definitely a difference. And, um, you know, the, like I said, the biggest difference is, is just with car hauling, you can go over the road and sleep at truck stops and travel all over the place and sleep in the back seat you know all that good fun truck stuff or you can just you know run it regional and local where you're home every day and that's the biggest difference with car hauling and you have so much to choose from when it comes to cars you know versus freight as far as your lanes you know you can just about go anywhere you got a lot of flatbed guys that actually put cars on there which is bringing me to my third point what brings, you know, they'll bring two cars back from, you know, a backhaul or something just to get back in a good zone to get a flatbed load. So with that being said, they could actually do both. But some of the guys on here, they say, yeah, we can haul both, we, you know, and which is true to a certain point, but you can't haul at a high capacity with cars on a flatbed because of damages. They will not fit on some of those mega ramps and some of the you know trailers that you have. Usually limited to SUVs and pickup trucks with a high off the ground. So, but that's definitely a plus for the flatbed because you can do both, okay? So, me personally, you know, I think I might try it. I'm not sure, but I love the car hauler. I love the car hauler. I love the pace of it because, you know, I'm working at my pace. I don't never have to wait on anybody. And that's another thing. You know, I don't know how fast, you know, the hot shot guys with the flatbed are getting loaded at some of these places, how long they sit there and wait, you know, for the forklift guys to get the material, come out, you know, me, I'm pulling up, where's my car at? Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to get it, load it, and I'm gone. So I like to be able to work at my own pace. I don't like waiting for nobody because it's just like with the big trucks, you know, in another video I made, it's, it's like the time that you spend waiting to get loaded in a week's time, it could equal up to 20 hours. And in 20 hours, that's like two full days for me. And I can make $2,000 times that by four weeks. That's $8,000 more a month that I can make with a car hauler because of the pace versus you know, flatbed wait for somebody to load me, unload me. Now I know a lot of places don't take that long, but some places do, you know, with car hauling, you ain't gotta worry about it because you're gonna go get the car yourself. So it's up to you, you know. Um, another another difference, let's see. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it, they're, they're pretty much similar when it comes to the, the, the equipment now the car hauler equipment is a little more expensive than the flatbeds so you got to consider that so you know um oh i got a good one for you i got a good one so with car hauling unlike freight flatbed rather hot shot you can actually make money without hauling I'm going to say that again. You can make money without even hauling. So when you get a cousin, aunt, relative, friend, whoever who's moving, right? So they need their car shipped. But they live in California and they're shipping it to Oregon. And you're all the way on the East Coast, so you don't even go that way. You're not over there. So you can't put it on your truck to make the money. But you can post it on the board and have another carrier pick it up, right? And then freight, that's considered double brokering. But in car hauling, it's not. So as long as you have a, a carrier, you know, being a, a, a central dispatch account, you can post that car up there for $500, which you know 
it's only going to take about $350 for it to be moved by another carrier. You take that $150, put it in your pocket. You can sit at your, literally sit at your desk if you have enough clientele to actually make money every day, every day. You know, so it's definitely a big perk with that and it's it don't, you don't have to go to school to get a broker's license or any of that stuff with freight you can't do that so you know that's a that's another perk too as far as that so we're we're about even we're like two and two you know i'm not gonna give you five because then y'all gonna say i'm biased because i got a car hauler and you know so we're gonna end the video but i hope those four points helped you make a decision on what you want to do got any more questions you know hit me in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer them if i can get to them and uh you can follow me on ig if you're interested in car hauling and, and check out my story because i you know i post stuff load by load as i'm driving you know just different things that i'm doing throughout the day with car hauling so you can kind of get in the passenger seat with me so to speak and see what a day is like with a car haul, you know, so, and I keep it transparent, you know, if it's a bad day, it's a bad day, if it's a good day, it's a good day, so, you're never gonna get no foolishness, and, um, one more thing, um, about that truck life, we out of here.